Hi, Peter Charles here of Hook to Life Fly Fishing. And today I'd like to tie the priest. Now this is a very bright pattern, red tail. Uh, and so it's obviously an attractor pattern, but I think we should think of these bright flies in another way as well. Uh, I had the opportunity once to see an emergence happen and I caught sight of it because as the mayfly was coming up, its body is filled with gas. And on a sunny day, it reflects brilliantly. I mean, it was like this hot spot going through the water. And it came up to the surface, split its skin, and flew away very quickly. And uh, I, when I saw that, I, I thought to myself, how bright that uh, insect looked as it was coming up. So when you're dealing with bright-bodied flies like this, you're, you're actually can be uh, uh, using them like those uh, emerging mayflies, uh, and emerging caddis for that matter too. Their bodies fill with gas and up they go, and they are bright on a sunny day. So, you know, g give these kinds of flies some thought. When you look at that shiny body, you say to yourself, well, eh, you know, it doesn't look very authentic, yeah. That's what it's imitating, is that bright uh, moment when that insect comes off the bottom, its body full of gas, hits the surface, splits the skin open, and gone. And the other th neat thing about um, mayflies is that they're floating up, but they want to be under the rocks, right? They know there's fish there, so they're trying to swim back down. The gas floats them up, they swim back down, and then they only want to get tired do they go to the top. I think of that up and down motion, lysering lift. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it works. So keep that in mind when you're fishing this kind of fly is pulse it. Get that thing going up, down, up, down, and it'll look just like a mayfly that's trying to go up and then swim back down to the rocks and floats up, swim back down to the rocks. So keep that in mind. It's a way to fish this fly. So let's get tying and look at the materials. We're going to start off with the traditional uh, size 8 hook. We're going to use a 10 alt black thread. Our tail is red schlappen. We're using a size 14 in a gold silver mylar. And we're going to use badger for the hackle. Let's start with our thread at the beginning of the hook. Okay, we're going to use a speed tying technique here. So we're going to use, the reason why I'm using schloppen is because I want long tailing material. Just matching the tips. There we go. A couple of wraps to hold it. Now our mylar, since we're tying silver, I tie it gold side up. Now I just skid all this back. Stay nice and neat, because with a mylar body, we want a neat underbody. Now come forward. Okay, let's get rid of that excess. Now for the mylar, make sure you're not kicking up too much of the tail. If you notice that's picking up the tail a little bit, put a wrap right at the very back. It'll hold that tail down. There we go. Now don't show any black, so this is where our rotary vise comes in handy. Now for a hackle. What I'm going to do now is just pull those barbs back and cut a tying in point. Now make sure you're winding in front of the previous turn. You don't want to wrap over the previous turn because then you get uh, barbs being trapped. Sometimes you get one that wants to fold back anyway. Like that one. tough quill. Come on, break. There we go. Oh! There's another quill breaking problem. When you snap off a quill like I just did, it's a great way to get a very neat head. If you cut it off with scissors, you always end up with a little stub you have to deal with. But that's the risk. When you snap it off like that, it can break underneath your thread. Doesn't matter. We'll get around it. Now 
I'll try and see that's very close to the eye now so it's going to be awkward to trim there we go now I'm just going to use my half hitch tool just to pull those barbs back now I can get the head finished there we go another little screw up saved And now for some head cement. Okay, there's the priest. As I say, I think it'll work as well as an emerger pattern as well as, a, as an attractor pattern. So you can use it either way. And remember what you just saw here, sometimes when the quills are really tough, if they don't break off right away, the moral of the story is I should have cut it off rather than continue to try and pull it off and break it off. Sometimes it works, occasionally it doesn't, and you end up with a bit of a mess. But as you can see, it can be uh, resolved pretty easily. Just a bit of patience and away you go. So, there it is, the priest. Uh, a nice easy pattern and I think a one that will be quite effective. Cheers.